Craving something extraordinary for the holidays? Look no further. Today, we're making a tasty and easy to make crab and feast palabok. This Filipino noodle dish is perfect for fiestas and cozy nights in and will be a game changer for your holiday menu. If you're ready to make this tasty noodle dish, get your aprons on and let's get cooking. to the channel, I'm Geronimo, and I'm a professional chef and product designer in the San Francisco Bay Area. All right, to kick things off, let's start with the star of our dish, the rice noodles. We've got eight ounces of these bad boys, and we're going to cook them just right. Simply follow the package instructions, and once they're done, give them a good rinse and drain. Set them aside, and let's move on to the fun part. Now it's time to turn up the heat and bring in some serious flavors. Fire up a saute pan or a large skillet and add in some smooth avocado oil. Heat it up over medium heat. We're looking for that perfect sizzle. First up, our aromatics take the stage. Toss in a medium onion, finely chopped, and let it cook down until it's translucent. Next, it's garlic's turn to shine. Add in six cloves of garlic minced and let them sizzle until the aroma fills your kitchen. All right, time for the main act, our ground pork. Let's add in half a pound or 225 grams into the pan. Now let's add a smoky twist to this dish. Sprinkle in about one teaspoon or two grams of smoked paprika. This not only gives our pork a gorgeous color, but also infuses a subtle smoky depth that is found in traditional palabok. Cook the pork until it's beautifully browned, and remember to season with salt and pepper to taste. And now for the special twist for our dish, our cooked crab meat. Here we have about one cup or roughly 145 grams of cooked crab meat from the can. You can use fresh if you want, but this works just as well and is way more convenient. Gently stir in the crab meat and heat it up for about three minutes to meld all the flavors together. Once everything is beautifully combined and cooked to perfection, set it aside. We've just laid down the most flavorful foundation for our dish. Now that our meat and crab mixture is bursting with flavors, it's time to craft the heart of our palabok, the sauce. This is where the dish truly comes to life. Back in our saute pan, add in annatto powder, about two tablespoons or 10 grams dissolved in a bit of water. This will bring the vibrant sunset orange hue and a subtle earthiness to the dish. Next, pour in two cups or 480 milliliters of chicken broth. Let it simmer gently, melding the flavors together. But we want our sauce just right, not too thin, not too thick. Here's where our tapioca flour comes in. Mix one tablespoon around eight grams with a little water and whisk it into the pan. This will thicken the sauce, giving it that luscious velvety texture. To add even more umami, add a teaspoon or two of fish sauce, to your preference. Just a little goes a long way in adding that umami depth. You can even do another teaspoon if you want. Stir everything well and let it cook for a few minutes. We want the sauce to thicken slightly, but still be pourable. The perfect consistency to cloak our noodles in flavor. Once the sauce is done, it's time to assemble our noodles. All right, it's show time. Let's bring all our elements together to create this masterpiece. Grab the rice noodles and lay them out in an even layer on a large platter. We're going for both taste and presentation here. Now take that rich, vibrant sauce we just made, ladle it generously over the noodles, ensuring each strand is lovingly coated. This is where our dish starts to come alive with color and flavor. Next up, let's spoon our meat and crab mixture over the top. Spread it evenly. Every bite should be a perfect mix of pork, crab, and noodle. But we're not done yet. For that extra touch of flavor and elegance, top it off with sliced hard-boiled eggs. They not only add a lovely contrast, but also a different texture to our dish. Add in a few slices of lemon as well, or calamansi for that extra pop of color. And for the final touches, sprinkle sliced green onions for a pop of color and a fresh flavor kick. And last but not least, add some crushed pork rinds or chicharron for extra crunch and flavor. And there you have it, a plate of crab and feast palabok, full of incredible flavors and textures, ready to wow everyone at your table. Let's dig in. All right, y'all, it's time to do the taste test and I can't wait to eat this, I am super stoked as palabok is one of my favorite Filipino party dishes of all time. And what I love about this dish is it's kind of messy, but beautiful at the same time. So I got a good serving here with a bit more green onion and chicharron because this dish is really made by the toppings. So the way I like to eat it is squeezing the lemon on top because palabok is usually very savory. So it's nice to have some of that acid to balance all the flavors out. And I like to mix it up a bit so I can make sure I have a bit of topping and sauce and noodle all at the same time. And bon appetit, here we go. Ooh. Wow. 
This is kind of messy to eat, but it's so delicious. The pork is super savory. I can taste the sweet brine from the crab. And there's a nice umaminess in the sauce from the fish sauce. Ooh. The noodles are nice and soft, and you get a bit of crunchy texture from the pork rinds. And the green onions and the lemon really balance out all the flavors as well. I can't wait for you to try this and make this for your own fiestas. If you enjoyed this video, check out my video here where I show you how to make my pansi bihon recipe, which is also perfect for fiestas and holiday gatherings. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.